Born in 1871, William McDougall was a 20th century psychologist who played an influential role in establishing experimental and physiological psychology. At the age of 14, he enrolled in the University of Manchester, where he became interested in philosophy. After that, he took a second degree at Cambridge and followed that with medical school. In addition to his own expeditions, he spent a year studying with G. E. Mueller in Germany. He ended up teaching at Oxford University and published a book called An Introduction to Social Psychology in 1908, but it should have been called Instincts and the Primary Tendencies of the Human Mind because that's what it really was about. Despite the unfitting name, the book set the stage for McDougall's focus on instincts, find instincts as an inherited or innate psychophysical disposition which determines its possessor to perceive and to pay attention to objects of a certain class, to experience an emotional excitement of a particular quality upon perceiving such an object, and to act in regard to it in a particular manner, or at least to experience an impulse to such action. McDougall wasn't the first to study instincts or to make them important components of psychology, but he believed that previous definitions were inconsistent and incomplete because it only focused on inborn patterns and tendencies, whereas his definition added emotion and goal directedness. For him, an instinct is made up of a behavior, an emotion, and a goal. Both humans and animals have instincts, but human instincts could be modified or inhibited by culture or habit. He proposed seven basic instincts and associated emotions. Flight with fear, repulsion with disgust, curiosity with wonder, pugnacity with anger, self-abasement with subjection, self-assertion with elation, and parental with tender emotion. He was reluctant to add sexual behavior as an instinct, but after hearing Freud, he added it to the list associating it with lust. McDougall married at age 29, although he said it was, and I quote, against my considered principles, for I held that a man whose chosen business in life was to develop to the utmost his intellectual powers should not marry before forty, if at all. Ironically enough, he had five children. After World War I, McDougall moved to Harvard University. In 1912, at nearly the same time as Watson, McDougall wrote a book defining psychology as the study of behavior, but in his book, he preserved the role for introspection and free will. He criticized Watson's form of behaviorism, which led to the battle of behaviorism. In February 1924, Watson and McDougall debated the nature and definition of behaviorism on a live radio show. Watson wished to rid psychology of all mentalistic terms and only use objective methods, whereas McDougall studies behavior of animals and humans but wasn't willing to part with introspection. Although it was a close call, McDougall lost by a small margin, but the public was already convinced by the other side. In the end, McDougall left Harvard for Duke University, where he became interested in parapsychological topics like mental telepathy and he remained there for the rest of his life.